So, this is my wallpaper. But only since yesterday. Basically, I got Wallpaper Engine. What is Wallpaper Engine? It's a fun little application that allows you to have animated wallpapers because animated stuff is cooler than your standard PNG. This was actually my wallpaper for the past 5 months. It's the shuttle of Pathfinder from For All Mankind, a sci-fi alternate history drama orbiting over Mars. I actually made it for a postcard competition my school had. I didn't win but I did get a good looking wallpaper out of it. But now since I have Wallpaper Engine, I want something that is animated and preferably aircraft related. So I go onto the Steam Workshop and I look at the aircraft wallpapers. They all suck. Take a look at these three examples. Example 1. Wow, the plane moves back and forth. Oh my god, that is so cool. Next level animation right here. Obvious sarcasm. Also, the wallpaper plays Highway to the Danger Zone, so I'm gonna give it a pass for that. Example 2! That is absolutely atrocious. I want, uh, uh, I want to uh, purge my eyes with bleach. Example 3! Hold on, does Gaijin upload their loading screens onto here? Because that would definitely look infinitely better. I fell into despair. Like, what do you mean there are no good aviation related wallpapers on Wallpaper Engine? But then I remembered, I make Aeronautica content. What if I made a good aviation related wallpaper for Wallpaper Engine and documented its creation process to upload onto my YouTube channel? So I wrote down a list of requirements, threw on a good looking wallpaper from a very good anime as a placeholder, and started working. After writing out the requirements, I started looking into how to implement a parallax effect in Wallpaper Engine. What is parallax? Well, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, parallax is a displacement or difference. I'm just kidding. That's not even relevant to the conversation at hand. Parallax is basically when you take a 2D image, split it into layers, and move it in a way that makes it look like it's 3D. As I started looking at some of the most popular wallpapers on Wallpaper Engine, I noticed that the parallax effect was present on most of them, and I went, hmm, yes, I would like a parallax effect on my wallpaper. So I took this, a Photoshop thingy, I did a while back and threw it into Wallpaper Engine to see if I can make a parallax effect. Then I remembered, wait, hold on, I have no freaking idea how to actually make a parallax effect. One YouTube tutorial later, and everything was working pretty well. Next, I had to pick a plane that was going to take the center stage of the image. I didn't use multiple planes because at the time I was trying to make it look somewhat similar to this GIF of the F-14. Instead of taking pictures in the main game, I'm going to do it on the Live Reviewer because it has a neat green screen feature which makes photoshopping something much easier. The king-eyed among you would have noticed that I am at the Soviet slash modern day Russia section of the Live Reviewer with the Tupolevs and the Sukhois. This is because the plane I want to use for the photo is here. So which one is it? Is it the based and quite literally red pill version of the Tu-95 that some people chose over a jet license for quite some time in the early days of Aeronautica? Will I be trying to dance with the vampires with a Tu-16 Badger? Maybe I'll choose one of the few planes in the world that can perform the War Thunder on Australian Internet Maneuver. Or maybe I'll choose the Sukhoi-75 Fe- I mean Checkmate, one of the world's most advanced 5th generation wooden mock-ups in existence. The answer? None of these. Sukhoi-24 Go Burp. One livery change later and it is looking like a mighty fine plane. So I'm just gonna put the camera somewhere nice and turn on the green screen feature and take a few pictures. To make the wallpaper work, I need a few things. I need an image of the background, an image of the playing, and whatever other animated effects I will need. But for now, getting the background and putting it and the playing in the same Photoshop file was my priority. For the background, I'm gonna pick somewhere in Azir. The UAF Digital Camo not only has a lot of places where you can hide pixel art, but its color scheme also makes it mix with the snow very, very well. Also, Azir is probably one of the better looking places in game when it comes to ground scenery. Okay, now to put everything onto Photoshop, 
So we have the image of the background here plus the image of the Sukhoi 24 I took in the livery viewer. So if I just select everything green as well as the icons in the corner and delete it all, I should be left with the SU24. But there is a nuance. There is a nasty bit of green spill that I will need to fix, which shouldn't be that hard according to this amazing YouTube tutorial. A few color adjustments later and I am ready to export to Wallpaper Engine. So this was the progress after like half a day of working. Yeah, it was quite little, but to that I would counter with 1. Procrastination! And 2. I also made this thing in Blender, which would turn out to be unnecessary. It's basically a wingtip trail generator. So what we have is we have the image, it moves to the mouse, and there is a cool snowstorm effect. But that's obviously not enough to call done. So How about a little more? Yesterday I was working on the wingtip trail effect. But after a little bit of experimentation with Wallpaper Engine's particle system, I made the same effect on Wallpaper Engine, but this time I can change the settings on demand which is an insane improvement from having to open up Blender every single time. Next I took a Blender file for a cool flame effect I found on YouTube, threw that thing into Blender, and made it yellow and rendered it out with Alpha. It didn't work. For some reason the effect just does not work with transparency. So I rendered it out normally, converted it into a GIF, and set its blend mode to screen, which is another way of making it work, and if I just did that in the first place, it would've been much easier. Then I added some depth parallax effect, some clouds, and some jet engine sounds, and at that point, it was almost ready. All that's needed are a few touches and some bloom, and the whole thing would be ready to go. Okay, so after about one and a half day of work, here it is, the final product. We have animated wingtip trails, animated afterburners, the whole image moves in relation to the mouse, and there is some jet engine ASMR if you need that. I have uploaded the whole thing onto the Steam Workshop, so if you want, you can have this for whatever reason, it is in the description. Well, was it worth it? Maybe. I'm not sure, I'm gonna be honest, but I guess I can flex this around at school or something. But if you like this video, press the like and the subscribe button, and also leave a comment down below with your opinions. And I'll see you all next time.